Hello guys, it's Ray J and this is how to put games onto your Xbox. Just to be clear, you do need to soft mod your Xbox or have a mod chip to do this. If you want to know how to soft mod your Xbox, then you can check my tutorial by clicking here. We'll be using FTP in this video as well, so again, if you don't know how to FTP to the Xbox or haven't set it up, then check my previous video by clicking here. So there are a few ways about putting games on the Xbox, and I'll show you all of them. First of all, we want to get hold of a game and a few tools. So let's go onto the computer. We will be doing the FTP method in this one first. Alright, so now we're on the computer. You want to go over to your web browser, and then you want to go onto Google. From here, we're going to go on the ISO zone. So then, if you click on here, then you want to go over to Downloads, and then click on Microsoft Xbox. So first of all, we're going to get a game. So click on Xbox ISOs. So I'm going to go and select J because I'm looking for Jet Set Radio Future. And then we will just find it right here. Okay, so then when you're on here, you literally just want to click on this mirror and it will download the file. Now we may have to just wait a few seconds um, for the server. Yeah, wait a few seconds and then we can download this. Alright, so just click on that and then it will go and download. Now bear in mind um, that these kind of servers are quite slow and it does take a long time. Um, sometimes you can get some really big files on here and it can take an hour or two or more. Um, they usually tend to split these up so it's not just one, it's like two or three. So I've actually already downloaded this so I will just cancel that. However, when you are downloading it, in the meantime we want to download something else. And this is so we can extract the ISO and turn it into like a format that the Xbox can read over FTP because we're going to chuck it straight onto the hard drive via the FTP. So what we want to do is go onto tools but if I'm honest you could look for it like this with an X however I'm literally just going to search it on here like so X ISO so type that in and then you want to click on downloads and then this is what we want. Okay, so then you just want to go ahead and download that. So just click on download and then it will download. It's a very small file. Um, however, if you are downloading the ISO, this makes you may have to like wait for, to be able to download this. So just to let you know, that might happen. So I've already got these files. Okay, so now that you have these files, I would recommend installing uh, XISO, so I have it here, and it will come in a uh, zip file format. So you want to make sure that you have some sort of unzipper like WinRAR. I recommend WinRAR, and then you want to extract the files here, and then you will get this folder. So then on this folder, then you can just run the exe, just go next and finish, etc. Um, it's safe, don't worry, guys. So just install that, and then once your ISO has um, finished downloading see I have it here, Jet Set Radio, you want to extract it here. Alright, so once the image file has been extracted, you'll be left with this. As you can see, it is an ISO. However, if we're going to be burning it, then yeah, fine, that will work, but we're not for this method. We're actually going to be FTPing this, so we actually need to extract this and put it into a format that the Xbox can read on the hard drive. So, once you've installed your other program, that we have downloaded, extract XISO, you want to launch it up here and then you want to extract XISO. Okay, so now, now you want to just find your file and there is the file. So you open that and then you can put it back in here. So I'm going to put it back in here, I'm going to call it Jet Set Radio Future. and I'll also put it in a folder so well, there we go, we'll select that and now it will extract it and if you click here you can see it doing its thing sometimes it can take a while to extract, just bear with it and you can go and make yourself a cup of tea and um, oh there we go, there it's done so just click OK and we can now close this and now if we go here these are the files you need That's, okay so we've got all of that um, 
just as well guys I will be putting all the links in the description for everything so you will be good to go alright so now you want to turn on your Xbox and then once it's turned on you want to launch the FTP client so if you've seen my previous video then you'll know what to do so I'm going to load it here yep okay and now we're going to connect to it right now we can connect and here is the Xbox so I'm going to go into my file system where I keep my games and it is not there <laughs> it's in F there we go so yours may be in um, E like here or it could be F or G so mine's there in F okay so I'm actually just going to leave it like that and then you want to go and find your game in the left hand side so I'm going to go ahead and do that okay so I found my game as you can see here it is here's the folder and there are all the files now you don't want to just copy it like this you actually want to copy the folder like that so all the files are contained inside it so go ahead and just simply drag it into games okay so once the file has been transferred you should see it in here I did actually have to move mine because um, apparently it didn't chuck it in properly so you just want to chuck it into the actual folder here so there it is right there so now you want to just restart your Xbox and then test that the game is there so let's go over to the Xbox okay so now that you're on the Xbox you just want to go ahead and restart it so that the game will become visible once it's booted up go over to games and then look for the game that we just put on in my case it's Jet Set Radio Future and there you go that's the game so you can just launch it by pressing A on the controller and then the game should just play fine if it doesn't then the rip might not be so good so you just want to go and look for another copy of the game and then see if that will work but otherwise it should run fine alright so now let's go ahead and do the other method this method is for people who just have a stock 8GB hard drive or just don't have enough storage on their Xbox or who just don't want FTP or set it all up because it can be a bit annoying for some people so I just thought I'd put the option in okay so you're gonna need some blank DVDs any DVD should be fine like plus R or minus R um, however on some Xboxes they have different DVD drives so they won't take like certain discs like some won't take minus R and then others would take minus R but they wouldn't take plus R so I'll post a link in the description to a website which actually shows you which drive you have and which DVDs will be compatible with it alright so now that you've got yourself a DVD you just wanna go ahead and chuck it onto the computer now that the disc is in the computer let's go over to it now you're on the computer you want to go back onto your web browser and have Google open and then you want to download a program called ImageBurn so just go ahead and type that in and go onto the main website once here you want to click on download and then go ahead and download here on the top one whichever mirror you prefer really okay so you just want to click on download here and then this will download so you just want to then run that and then just click on next and follow the uh, install wizard through once it's installed you will see that it is on your desktop so I have it here and you just want to run it you just want to go ahead and find your ISO file so here's mine um, just another side note as well if your file like your game isn't in the ISO format and you want to make it into an ISO format then you want to just launch the program that we installed earlier and then you want to create an XISO and then you can select your folder and it will make an ISO image alright so now that we've got this file you literally just want to click on write image file to disk grab the ISO image and chuck it onto here okay now you want to select the write speed so for the Xbox you actually want to have a much lower write speed than like say 16 or 20 you want to write it at four times there's a possibility you may be able to write it at 8 as well however I recommend going with 4 as this is quite low and it's stable um, and it definitely will write however on other speeds like a lot higher it just doesn't write for some reason the Xbox just doesn't like it so it will take a little bit of time however I'm sure you can wait it out so you can either untick this or not I'm going to leave verify on though I just like to have it verified to make sure this works and then you want to go ahead and click on write alright so once the uh, DVD is finished burning then you can just hit OK and you can go ahead and take the DVD out and put it in your Xbox 
So let's go ahead and do that now. For any files that come in different parts, like part one, part two, and part three, you literally just want to extract part one, and then that will also extract part two, and it will create the ISO. Okay, so all you want to do now is just turn on the Xbox, and then put in the disc that we just burned. Now you can either play the game straight away off the disc by just launching it on the Xbox, or you can actually put it onto the Xbox's hard drive. To do this, go over to Applications on the main menu, and then launch DVD to Xbox. If you don't have it already, which is unlikely, as it does actually come preloaded with most sophomore installers, then I will put the link in the description for you to download it. Okay, so once it's loaded, then you can go ahead and follow the procedure to install it onto your drive. As you can see, it's loading it onto the hard drive. It does take some time, though, just to let you know. Alternatively, Unleash X and maybe some other soft mods do actually include DVD to Xbox hidden on the soft mod itself. So to do this, you want to go to System, and then you want to go to Miss, Miscellaneous, and then click on Copy Game Disk, and then this will copy the disk to the hard drive. Again, you don't actually have to use a disk that you burned. You could just get one of your old games and then just chuck it onto the hard drive if you want to do that too. Unfortunately, the game that I actually burned to the disc, which was Forza, didn't work purely because it was a bad rip. So if you do come across this problem, just go online and find another rip of the game, and you should be good. And that's how to put games onto your Xbox. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then please drop a like, leave a comment, and even subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.